something that is becoming a pattern and we need to address it. That a liar has been in the office for a long time doesn't make it the truth. Longevity is not legality. Now, when anybody wants to open a YouTube channel or have a blog that will sell, one of the strategies to make people get attracted, to get lots of views and comments, is to attack pastors. And I'm one of the major subject matter. That if you want to have a YouTube that will do well, abuse Papa Deboy, abuse Yedipo, abuse Apostle Suleiman. I don't have a problem with that. Because a million abuses cannot do nothing. But what I have a problem is that at the end of the month, YouTube is paying you for insulting me. So we need to have an agreement. Go ahead, insult me, but pay me. No, that's the truth. If you want to insult me, pay me. Then do the videos. Abuse me, you have my permission. Because one million videos cannot bring a true man of God down. That's the truth. Nothing. My life has proven that to you. Media is a wrong means. A man of God you can only bring down through media. As a man of God who doesn't have proofs and results of his calling. God, a man of God lays hands on somebody who has cancer. You saw a child brought here that was blind that the eyes open. Is it that father you will tell that the man of God is fake? When he's seen his blind child who receives sight. He will come after you. So, my own now is a negotiation. You are laughing. You want to abuse me. You want to insult me. Because I'm saying this. Because some of you who do this YouTube thing. You are in America. You are in London. You are in China. You don't know that we can come after you with the law. I can sue you in Nigeria. And get what they call foreign enforcement of judgment. Through the embassy. To your embassy. I will sue you here. And they will get the judgment here. And I will send it to your embassy. You will be fine. In UK, defamation is 100,000 pounds. There are two kinds of defamation. There is libel and there is slander. Slander is when you speak. Libel is when you write. So if you do that, I can come after you. Every country has got rights against defamation. In South Africa, they call it naming and shaming. And there are laws. There are laws. You don't just go ahead and abuse people. You start lying. You start saying things. There are some ministers who are even living wrong lives that God should punish. But because of your lies, God is showing them mercy. They are living life that God should naturally punish them. But because of your lies, even God is saying, here, some YouTubers, the way they lie, even Satan is shocked. You just come up with something. A pastor died the other day in Lagos. When some of us had the death, for two days we could not sleep. Me, I had pains in my chest. I went to mama's room. I said, why would this man die? I had pains. I had to start praying for myself because the news hit me. And I told myself, I need to start praying. How can you be a man of God? You're happy that so, uh, a fellow man of God is dead. But they put it in the media. They're all happy. Who is happy? Pastor Chris Yakilome, for example, had a major crusade he had advertised on the date of the man's burial. I had a program here. People are coming from all over the world. We should abandon the program and go to a burial to make you happy. You know how many of our, our, our representatives we send there? But you just go out. Oh, they are happy. They, they attend. Who are you to tell me what's better to attend? Is ministry for your family meeting? It can be irritating. You see somebody whose opinion is never valued by his own family. is coming online. You, you that cannot keep a, keep a home. You cannot keep a business. You are coming to tell us how to run church. What do you know? Now, the, the problem now is they have is miracle money. If you talk against miracle money, you are insulting God. You are insulting God. That I will now arrange with people at my level. What am I looking for? Money, name, that I will now want to impress you. You that your own family self doesn't want to impress you. I will now want to impress you to make you happy. What am I looking for? I'm not hungry. I don't need fame. Popularity is a problem. It's not even good to be famous. Because once you are famous, you have no life. Imagine, they say, oh, they said I went to America, I collected accounts, and I pay money. I'm not that nice, oh. Bring one person, not two, not three, one, who can see anybody contacted him to bring account. 
So it's very painful that if you come out, like for example, let me tell you the history of miracle money. The first time, if you notice, I stopped it. Because I didn't understand it. When I started praying, people say they got a lot. I called mama. I said, I don't understand this thing. My conscience is troubled. How can somebody just see money? I stopped it. I was even against it. I was against it. I said, I don't understand this. But go back to your Bible and study what the Bible says in Matthew 17, 27. That Jesus said to Peter, go to the sea. There are many of these people, if they were alive in the days of Jesus, they would do videos against him. Go to the sea. No, the reason I'm talking about this is business they are doing. They are not out for the truth. They want to please their followers. So you are not speaking the truth. You and I know. So it's business. So let's discuss. Because if you use, take my name off your lips. You cannot use my picture or my name without my permission. It is called image right. It is my right. My picture is my right. My name is my right. Take my name. Because right now, during April, the Lord spoke to me. Is anyone that comes after you on the media gets justice? I had it from God. And we have gotten lawyers even up to international criminal courts. Stop this. If you want to do business, let's talk. You want to insult because one million videos cannot bring down Baba Debo or even small me. You are wasting time. You are just wasting time. But do not put my picture on your channel, on your blog without my consent. You say, oh, you are a public officer. I'm not a public officer. You didn't elect me. I'm a public figure, not public officer. You didn't elect me. So you cannot determine how I run a church. You didn't ele elect me. Okay, you can attack a governor because you elected him. You, you are paying tax to him. You are not paying tax to me as a blogger. So you didn't elect me. The people that should speak up their mind and their discomfort in the church are the men who understand this thing. My conscience is troubled. How can somebody just see money? I stopped it. I was even against it. I was against it. I said, I don't understand this. But go back to your Bible and study what the Bible says in Matthew 17, 27. That Jesus said to Peter, go to the sea. There are many of these people, if they were alive in the days of Jesus, they would do videos against him. Go to the sea. No, the reason I'm talking about this is business they are doing. They are not out for the truth. They want to please their followers. So you are not speaking the truth. You and I know. So it's business. So let's discuss. Because if you use, take my name off your lips. You cannot use my picture or my name without my permission. It is called image right. It is my right. My picture is my right. My name is my right. Take my name. Because right now, during April, the Lord spoke to me. Is anyone that comes after you on the media gets justice? I had it from God. And we have gotten lawyers even up to international criminal courts. Stop this. If you want to do business, let's talk. You want to insult because one million videos cannot bring down Baba Debo or even small me. You are wasting time. You are just wasting time. But do not put my picture on your channel, on your blog without my consent. You say, oh, you are a public officer. I'm not a public officer. You didn't elect me. I'm a public figure, not public officer. You didn't elect me. So you cannot determine how I run a church. You didn't ele elect me. Okay, you can attack a governor because you elected him. You, you are paying tax to him. You are not paying tax to me as a blogger. So you didn't elect me. The people that should speak up their mind and their discomfort in the church are the members of the church. Are you hearing me? I'm saying that because, don't be surprised. In fact, one of them, there's somebody that's in prison now. He has been given a sentence, seven years. And they're calling me, I'm not saying anything. Another one just did an apology. We are not closing our mouth anymore because we are quiet. We are quiet and you are thinking it's now a culture. You just wake up, hey, hey, have you heard again, oh, Apostle? As you are saying that, prison. <laughs> when miracle money, when miracle money started, when miracle money started, I stopped it because I didn't understand it. But during wonders without number, I wish they know that when I'm praying for miracle money, even me, I'm expecting miracle money. Me, me, me that pray the prayer. When Miracle Money started during one that's without number, everybody was, if you watch the testimonies, 80%. I found money, I found money, I found money, I found money. I found money. Says, you want to go to America, a country that has structure, that has law, that has intelligence, and arrange something. I'm not as daft as your family people now. Say anything about me. 
you know, I'm, he's stubborn, he can be, he has a bad mouth, it's okay. But don't say he's fake. Don't go there. I'm not. When some people are talking, I've never seen a group of people that are so coherent in spewing gibberish. So fluent in verbal stupidity. And you now see fellow fellow clowns commenting. Eh, men of God. Now wow. Eh? They told you what they want you to hear. I have people, we support people. Have you heard them say one good thing about Baba Deboy? Baba Deboy just gave 18.8 billion. He just said they should give to charity. 18.8. You, did you see that on the news? Redeem has a hold on. Redeem has a kidney kidney center. Free test. Will they put that on the news? No, they won't get comments. Pastor Chris Oyakilome is one time fed over two thousand children in an African country. The man of God that carries everything he does, he puts on media. That's the one you call man of God. We build schools, we build hospitals. Some weeks ago, some communities came to me and said they don't have transformer. I have to give them transformer. Some say they don't have. The youth service, hold on, the youth service building in Aochi, to God's glory, I raised it. I even have, the, we are the coppers. And some of them have been meeting with me this morning. Stand up if you are standing up. Okay. We are we having a meeting. The meeting, sit down. The meeting we have today is to see how we can set up another building. Should we put that on camera? So because we don't do things on camera, we are not men of God. It's okay. I don't have a problem. Man of God, no man of God. It doesn't mean anything to me. But you are making money. Let us talk. I'm calling you, you now. <laughs> don't say I didn't warn you. You want to make money with Apostle Suleiman's? If I see my picture, I've told, we have, we have, we have 18 YouTubes that we know we have collected. We have instituted legal proceedings on them. I told that people be, be cutting their videos. Anyone that's saying nonsense about us, be cutting it. If you want to speak about me, speak the truth. Speak the truth. Speak the truth. You're attacking people. They didn't do this. Oh, they are not pastors. Who are you? Did you call me? You don't tell me how to run a church. You were not there when I started it. Your channel is four years, five years. You want to protect it at the detriment of a ministry that's 30 years. Take time on. <laughs> 